Good day, folks, and welcome back to Ed's Garage. This is my actual garage. Of course, I don't do a whole lot of videos in here, but today the video is about my own personal vehicle, the 2017 Hyundai Ioniq Electric Limited. Now, they don't have the Limited anymore. They have the Ultimate, or at least that was the last one they did, and now they don't make this at all anymore, of course, because they've got the Ioniq 5. Uh, but what I wanted to highlight today is it, the battery itself. So that's what this particular video is going to be about. Nothing else, just the battery. I'm going to be doing a full review, a long-term, long, long-term review on this vehicle next. But for now, I want to talk about the battery. Now, this battery is a 28 kilowatt battery. The average range on this vehicle was posted at 200 kilometers in Canada. Of course, different markets, different climates, that sort of thing. Of course, that can change. The battery itself is a air-cooled battery, but it is actively air-cooled. So unlike the Nissan Leaf, for instance, which only has passive air cooling, this one has active air cooling. It actually runs uh, cool air through the battery pack. Now, the reason I want to do this video is because there's a lot of people online on forums, Facebook groups, etc. Let's call them EV haters, uh, or people who are even still in the know and still like EVs that think that these batteries don't last very long. So I've got now 98,554 kilometers on this vehicle. I would expect that if these batteries do indeed only last about 10 years, like a lot of people think they do, or 15 years, or even 20 years, that I would have some degradation by now. Now, what does that really mean exactly? Oh, the batteries only last 10 years, or the batteries only last 50 years. What does that mean? Do they completely conk out? Do they degrade? Do they charge slower? Like what, well, what it means essentially what these people are saying is that there will be so much degradation after X amount of years that the battery won't really work out very well anymore. So in reality, what we've seen, for instance, you know, Tesla Model S's from back, or, you know, 2012, 10 years ago, those vehicles are still on the road and they're still doing just fine. Um, but some of them do have some battery degradation. Uh, a lot of this assumption is actually based on the history of the Nissan Leaf uh, or even you know vehicles like the Chevy Spark, which you'll notice we do have plugged in right next to us. Uh, and from climates that are warmer than you know <laughs> where a lot of these cars are actually sold. So I'm up here in British Columbia, Canada. I'm in the very, very southern point of British Columbia, Canada. We're probably in the best place for an EV. Uh, and what I mean by that is our climate is very temperate. It doesn't get crazy cold and it doesn't get crazy hot. Uh, well, except for last summer, we had two months of ridiculously hot temperatures. Uh, but because these batteries are air cooled and now of course, new ionics are, are, are liquid cooled, um, the vehicle can actually do a very good job keeping the battery cool. Uh, unlike for instance, even the most recent Nissan Leafs uh, that still only have passive cooling. So where is the battery at on this vehicle? Now I've tested this vehicle in the past before. Uh, the last time I tested it was at about 70,000 kilometers uh, to see where it was at. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to get a good idea of, you know, the progressing of the degradation to see, you know, how much it was degrading at that time. And now again, at 100,000 kilometers, 60,000 miles. Now, a little bit of uh, history of this vehicle. Uh, I don't take care of this vehicle very well, to be quite frank. I charge the battery to 100% every day. Uh, I've used quick chargers here and there, but mostly I charge it at home. Um, and I haven't really done a hell of a lot of maintenance on it, to be honest. I checked the, you know, I, I wrote the tires. Right now I've got it on winter tires on uh, aftermarket rims. Uh, and I drive it pretty <laughs> pretty hard as well. My, my accelerated pedal, pedal may as well just be on off switch. Uh, and I take it up to about 130 kilometers an hour on the freeway pretty regularly, uh, pretty much all the time. Um, shouldn't admit that on YouTube, but whatever. It is what it is. Uh, the reason I bring that up is because currently, you'll, know, you'll notice my range estimate says 167 kilometers. Um, that's actually a little bit ac inaccurate. I do better than that, uh, even driving faster. Uh, but Hyundai has always been very conservative with the, with the range estimates. And you'll notice that on a lot of other reviews where they compare multiple vehicles, doing long drives with them. Hyundai's always coming out on top uh, as far as how far they'll go versus how far they say they'll go. Um, but this one, yeah, if I drive it normally, especially if I drive it in the city at city speeds, I'll clear 200K, no problem, even on the winter tires. 
and even with the aftermarket wheels. Uh, and I've done that. I've demonstrated that before, uh, or well, demonstrated. I've proven that before by going on long drives. My wife and I, in the middle of winter, actually drove all the way up to a place called Vernon, which is in British Columbia, which is several hundred kilometers away. So obviously I did have to stop uh, and charge a couple times, but I was getting range uh, of around 200 kilometers, even when it was cold out, um, as long as I drove, you know, relatively normally around 100 kilometers an hour on these highways. In any event, the reason you came here to watch this video is to see what the battery state of health is now. It's fully charged at 100%, uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an OBD reader. So this product is called a V-Peak, V-E-E-P-E-A-K, and what it allows you to do is connect your phone via Bluetooth to that reader uh, to your car. So you can see what, you know, the history is, how many, uh, what percentage of the state of health is, what the current battery percentage is, uh, what the actual battery percentage is, because Hyundai has designed it so that it never actually gets to 100%. It'll actually stop at 95% when charging at level two um, or level one. And it'll never discharge to zero either. So depending on what it's at, um, the, the phone will actually have that information using an app called EV Notify. So without further ado, let's plug this in and see what it all says. So I'm going to do this on camera with one hand. We'll see how this goes. So to connect an OBD reader, basically we're going to pull a little cover off here for the fuse box, which is right there. And we're going to plug this guy in right there. All right, so that is now on. We got to turn the car on. All right, and so we'll notice on the screen here, I'm going to get a little bit closer. Whoop. So now you can see that we have 98,554 kilometers. Uh, okay, I can't zoom in unless I stop the video, so I'm going to just let the video continue. Uh, but yeah, I may, you may have noticed there are 167 kilometers of range. So that is an estimate based on my most recent driving, uh, which again, I drive too fast. Anyway. All right, so I've grabbed a new crappy old cell phone because the other one just isn't working. So I've got here a Samsung Galaxy S5, good grief, uh, like 10 year old phone now. Um, but yeah, so I've got the OBD port or OBD scanner plugged in still, and I've linked it up to this phone. I've got the EV Notify app installed, and we're going to go ahead and open that up. And it should log in already. Yep, perfect. It's already connected, so you can see again. Oh, it's going to reinitialize here. There we go. Connection established. So we are currently at 100% state of charge, according to the vehicle. And we can see we got 397.2 uh, volts. Uh, zero current being currently used and then you'll notice we've got battery health state of charge 95% that's the battery management system so even though the car says it's at 100% the batteries um, BMS the battery management system it shows it only charges up to 95% to protect the battery so what do we've got what have we got for state of health well if we scroll up a little bit more boom there you go we've got 100% state of health so all those naysayers thinking that these batteries only last 10 years, 20 years, 15 years, whatever. I'm sorry, but you're wrong. I mean, that depends where you live. And even if you do live in a very, very hot climate, yes, you might have some battery degradation, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the battery is done for. It just means that you have less range. So there are reports of people who've had batteries completely fail, uh, but that's due to a manufacturing defect or other issues, not necessarily due to degradation. Yes, batteries can degrade, and yes, people have replaced battery due to degradation, but it's not very common. It's not nearly as common as you would think, at least not on vehicles um, that, are, uh, that have batteries that are cooled properly. Um, I'm, basically, I'm referring to the ones that aren't cooled properly are, are, are the older Nissan Leafs, um, and even, again, Vehicles like this old Chevy Spark sitting out here, that one does have some degradation. As a matter of fact, it's pretty badly degraded. It's degraded about 25%. Now, even though it's degraded 25%, that vehicle is still very, very useful. But this video is not on the Spark. This video is on the Ionic, uh, Ionic platform with its uh, air-cooled battery system. And so far, 100,000 kilometers, 
well, 98,554 kilometers and five years, battery is still at 100%. I think that's fantastic. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe and uh, feel free to comment down below if you disagree or if you have a difference of opinion uh, for whatever reason, uh, or if you're just worried about electric range, electric batteries, whatnot, please do comment below. I do try to respond to every comment made. Um, if I don't like your comment, I'll let you know. Um, and if I do like your comment, you'll definitely get a thumbs up and a reply from me. So in any, in any event, thank you so much uh, for watching and until the next time, take care.